Well, I've come to the outskirts of Galleywood. Um, I'm looking for a bluebell wood. Um, I think I know where there is one. So um, we're right on the outskirts of Galleywood, between Galleywood and the A12. So um, I'm going to take a walk down and uh, see if I can do some sketching. So I hope you enjoy my journey. This is what I love about my job. You get out into the countryside, uh, you walk amongst the trees and the fields, see the lovely skies, um, and you get to put um, some artwork down. So it's a win-win for me. Come on, let's get up to that uh, bluebell wood. Greens this uh, this particular year is are particularly good. Uh, it's lovely for a land landscape artist to see these lovely fresh greens. Okay, look how fresh those greens are. Ah, oh, we've got the horses in the background. That's very nice. Hello, horses. Why do I always talk to animals? Perhaps they know. Perhaps they say, who's that funny man with a funny hat on? Who knows? Let's get going. Well, this, this is what makes Gallywood so special for me. Uh, the farmer here, he really takes a pride in, uh, in his fields and also the natural wildlife. Uh, fields are planted especially for the wildlife area, um, for, the, uh, for the seeds and, and everything. So he does an absolute marvellous job here the outskirts of Gallywood and uh, he even puts up nice plaques to tell us exactly what's going on and what uh, when the crops will start to grow isn't that great That's nice. We have five minutes, I think. This is what uh, my grandfather would call a bless my cotton socks. Somewhere on a long walk, you can sit down, take in the views, the wildlife, and uh, just rest for a moment. Oh well, I must get on. Well, we're just coming to a wooded area. Is this it? Let's have a look. I'll negotiate some steps. And a little bridge. Whoop there.
Is this the little wood? Well, I can see bluebells. How many have we got? That's the key. Aren't they a beautiful sign of spring? When you walk into a, a bluebell wood, invariably you see the odd one or two little clumps or even individuals. Then as you go further in, they tend to get thicker and thicker. A few more here. And all of a sudden, even more here. All of a sudden, you've got yourself, well, it's not a big wood, so I wouldn't call it a carpet, but I would say it's sort of like a mat. Um, is that the right term for it? A mat of bluebells. Look at that. Make a lovely subject. Particularly this time of year, when, the, when you've got lovely fresh greens. That's what makes bluebells sing. It's the blue against the fresh green. Not where it's some, where it's midsummer, where the greens are beginning to get past their best. But, um, ah, yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, that looks uh, possible. We can, uh, we can do a bit more with those bluebells. Uh, where are we anymore? Is there any more around? A few here. Okay. Yes, that's looking good. Isn't that beautiful? To get amongst the bluebells, particularly to an artist who's got lovely backlight. So the bluebells are in shadow. Got lovely backlight. And also, if you come down at more of a lower level it can look as if there's more bluebells there than there really is and of course as an artist you can add to them too which is always a bonus I mustn't tread on them that's why I want to keep this fairly low key look at that Lovely little spinny, really, of little mats of bluebells. Really, really nice. Okay, let me do some sketching. Just listen to that. Wildlife at its best. I love my job as an artist. Well, that was lovely. No matter how much I love being here, um, I've got all the inspiration I need. 
to uh, take back uh, to my studio about a couple of miles away. So um, let's see what we can create in the studio with all this lovely material that I've got in my on my Pink Peak sketching pad. Come on, let's get going. Well, I'm heading off back through this little spinny to soaking up the last little inspiration that I can uh, get. Uh, I love these paths through these woods. They lead your eye in. Good idea to look for subjects with a path and make the subject slightly off of centre the path subject um, and uh, somewhere where it weaves away into the distance that's what we're looking for uh, so there we are lovely little bluebell wood here about two miles from where I live just find our way out here we go Also, I love when you break out of a, a wood and out into the countryside again. You know, it's always a... You sort of like feel, although it's lovely in there, you do feel released somehow. Uh, you take a breath of that fresh air. You look at the sky. Try and memorise the sky, if you like, uh, for future paintings. Possible. Nice cloud work there. I love the way the farmer allows, uh, grows um, things for the birds really. Uh, old sunflower field, ideal, well this time of year I suppose, perhaps a little earlier, for the birds to feed on the seeds. Really loves his wildlife this Farmer. Absolutely gorgeous countryside. I know a lot of people tend to walk, tend to travel miles, even to other parts of the world, without actually looking on their own doorsteps to see what they've got. And it may only be just a little walk down the road. But now they jump in the cars and they think they're going to find a marvellous scene, far better than they've ever seen in their area, but they've not really looked. We well, won't beat that. And the peacefulness of it. Ivy clad trees are always a, of an interest to me. See the way the ivy's going up there? Unfortunately, they tell me that they can eventually kill a tree or strangle a tree. And that's a typical example, I think, where certainly the lower branches are suffering a little, but they do make lovely subjects for the artist certain times of the year. Lovely pheasant, just having his afternoon peck around in the fields. And the horses in the background. The edge of the farmer's buildings there. Very nice. Well, I'm gonna give my, bless my cotton socks a miss on the way back because I'm so, inspired to get something down onto watercolour paper in the form of bluebells really so let's not hang around let's step it out making a way back now just listening to the birds singing
really do need to uh, to experience these things you know it, it's such an important part of one's life really we are after all animals on a planet that, uh, that basically came from the ground so well I would presume somewhere around we certainly came from the outdoors we we weren't but we never started off with houses we've developed that but uh, I like the way they clear the ditches here keep the water flowing but of course after that then they then leave plenty of hedging and undergrowth for the wildlife horses grazing in the field well here I am at the end of the journey really um, not that far from my garden studio now um, just coming off of the main fields into the village and uh, hope you enjoyed that little trip uh, to see you know basically me looking at um, subjects uh, to paint in my garden studio if you enjoyed that then please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, click the link bottom right hand corner uh, and obviously probably my next video or very shortly will be a video showing how I painted a lovely view from that bluebell wood we've just seen thank you very much for watching Well, I've just arrived back in my studio um, and uh, I did produce a quick sketch of the scene um, which is that that's a little sketch in my sketch pad and then I decided to pour myself a nice cup of tea before I proceeded to paint this picture um, so that's my next video so if you'd like to see how I've painted that then uh, it will be coming up very shortly on one of my other videos um, so um, I can finish my tea off and uh, just generally taking the lovely day that I've had thank you very much for watching